How bad is this? Don't tell me this is Zoom bad. It's Apple Maps bad. So there are many things that can go wrong with your 3D printer, from the electronics, the printer, the coding, so many things can happen. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you overheated your stepper drivers? Would you even know what this would look like? We didn't, but it happened, so I made a video about it. And if there's one thing I know, it's the cold metallic touch of a 3D printer. So I'll be your tech support for this video and I'll explain what you're gonna do and how you're gonna get your 3D printer back up online. So we finished our first print of the day and we're starting our second print. And then our printer started acting weird. And that's when I noticed it. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Yep, something wasn't right, all right. You could tell it was just oscillating in the X direction when we pressed home and all it wanted to do was move back and forth. We had no motion in the Y direction. So that set me off. Something was wrong. So the clear signs that something's wrong with your stepper driver is if everything works but the motion in the direction you're needing it, say the Y in my case, you're going to know something's wrong with the driver. We still had the heating sensors. We still had the heater. We just could not move in the Y direction. So you're gonna check the V reference across your potentiometer, and this value should range from 0.2 to a two volt max. In my case, I couldn't adjust it because the driver was bad, so the solution is easy. This is gonna be the easiest replacement you're ever gonna have to do. You're gonna take the old driver and you're gonna throw it away. It's done, it's burned out, you can't reuse it, and you're gonna replace it with your brand new stepper driver. Yep, it's that easy. I guess the hardest part you can say is plugging it into the controller. If you do plug this in wrong, you're going to cause a lot of damage and issues. But we're using a TMC2208 stepper driver and they conveniently label what side is what. You see there's a red side and a black side which hook up to the corresponding color on the controller. So you can't really mess it up. You also know there is a ground pin that should align with the ground pin on the controller. So why would your stepper driver burn out? There's kind of two ways this could happen. The first way is you need to check your V reference you're running across your, your potentiometer. Um, depending on your stepper driver, there's formulas to calculate what your voltage reference should be. In our case, we're using the TMC2208, which to calculate the reference voltage you need on your potentiometer, the formula should be shown on the screen somewhere. Um, it's V reference equals your current times 2.5 voltage divided by 1.77 amps. And this is specific to the 2208. Now, the second way which you could have your stepper driver burn out is not adequately cooling the driver and it overheats. And in our case, I think that's what happened because we did a lot of printing without a cooling fan. Like, a lot. So, did we design an overly super complicated cooling fan now? Yes, because we overthink everything here. You know that.
Did everyone see that? Because I will not be doing it again. The insulation took a while just for a cooling fan, but this being a three pin fan, we will only need to use the red wire and the black wire from the fan. The yellow is a signal wire, which we don't need. Now, Amazon has this fan listed with a 29.7 decibels, and that's supposed to be super quiet. And I was interested to see what the sound level was going to be. So after we hooked up this fan directly to the power supply, because we want this fan turning on as soon as the printer is provided power, and so your electronics are cooled. So here we go. Here is the first test for the cooling fan after we hooked it up as shown. I'm very happy with the cooling fan, but I also want to show you the Y direction does work now with the stepper driver being installed. So everything came out successful. So as you can see, the solution was pretty easy. If you happen to overheat a stepper driver, you're just going to replace it and check the voltage reference you're using. Make sure it's in the range for your board. And also, you're going to want to provide some cooling for your electronics and put a fan on top of it just to ensure your drivers don't overheat. We were pretty much back up and running in a day after we did all the replacements. So no harm, no foul. Our printer was not damaged and we were good to go. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like what we do here, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like on the video, and check out our links which are listed in the description below. I hope your prints turn out awesome. Rock on. Have a good day.